We believe the future of our industry is in productivity and upskilling our workforce and the key to that, as identified in Roy Green's report on management matters, is that SMEs, who are the predominant business units in our sector, are lacking those people management skills. And so we think putting effort into workforce planning at this level, and we've designed the tools around that, is a key to the future prosperity of our sector. It's a little bit too soon. We've had our first test last week and we got absolutely fantastic feedback. And the word fantastic was used in the feedback itself. So we think that it'll take it with our sector. It takes, these things don't switch on overnight. That's why the e-learning platform is so useful because people can return to it. There's a lot to absorb for SMEs in around award compliance for our industry. And having it contained in a one so in a one package where they can go and get all the information is a very useful thing. And having it on the e-learning platform combined with some instruction at the front end to hold their hand for those first steps, we think is really, well, we've tested it now and that looks like it's going to be the model. Mapping. We believe that's critical. So you look at what the needs of industry are and then you look at those elements and the performance criteria in the units. And then you take the two, and this is the hard part that we believe is not being done, and you map them one to the other, literally, point by point. And you say, okay, now how are we going to put that in a form, that performance criteria, in a way that this skill, the people that are going to need this information, are going to understand it? How do you do that? And it's not an easy thing to do and it's time consuming. And we believe that's the part that's missing at the moment. Um, industry is moving that quickly that it's hard and difficult for anyone to keep pace. And, and it, it's one of the things that we've looked at that formal flexible workplace learning model that needs to happen. Our learners are very proactive. They tell us if they don't like it, we certainly hear about it. But more than that, they're telling us the, the bits that are going wrong in their businesses. So we actually sit down very much for our SMEs. It's a mentoring model and understanding their problems. As a body, we started to reshape our workforce to be more industry-led. And the staff that I employed four years ago had industry knowledge. So we sort of turned ourselves around a bit from facing all about policy and government to start to face the industry. And so that they knew when they phoned us, they got current knowledge. And a lot of our sessionals are working in industry and they've had you know, three or four of them have also got international backgrounds. So that's really helping them. They're SMEs, they're part of our textile and fashion hub consortium. They are chosen because individually each one of those small businesses represents a cross-section of the industry. From a technical technician to who runs his business as a consultant to um, a glove maker, there's a jean manufacturer, um, there's a high-end designer and there's a wall knitter in a regional. So they're all scattered around well, every state of uh, Australia and they represent different types of business models in that SME category for us because it makes us work hard. You know, e-learning, the success of any e-learning tool is all about how much you put in behind it when you start to develop. And a lot of work has to go into building what we call the content, you know, the wording, the language that's used, it has to relate to industry. It can't be ambiguous, it must be clear, it must, they must have links. That's, that's, that's the challenge, to make it look simple but underneath sits a whole lot of complex, lots of documents and lots of resources. Well, basically we're using a platform at the moment, it's a commercial platform called C Learning, but it, we can, we've structured it in a way where we can use it on more conventional like Moodle. Um, we've developed, it's a HTML web application. Um, we have also learned uh, using um, Social media, the reason we think that's important is because a lot of social media is free, it's low cost and when you've got 86% of businesses in our sector are SMEs that have an average um, business size of four employees 
they don't have a lot of money, they're under-resourced. So we're looking to those platforms, the wikis, social media, Google um, tools, cloud tools, teaching them and engaging with them on those platforms. And what we're also really keen to do is try and develop the e-learning that houses the content so that it can sit on multi-platforms and it's easily accessible. We've started at the moment in, in the first session, it was feedback sheets and it was interview techniques. Um, that will progress more. We've got a focus group coming up with industry practitioners, the person that delivered it, to just talk about, okay, what were the strengths and the weaknesses. There's, I'm very keen because image is so important to our sector, the fashion sector, that the, when we get the final content and the e-learning tool um, all together, it then goes off to the graphic people. And it's important about the images that are used, that the industry relates, they look current, they look modern. Um, all of that's important because <laughs> our young designers sitting in those audience are very quick and very sceptical and they pick up images everything. And so we believe the tools need to reflect that. It mightn't, you know, a lot of text, they'll just go, oh, whoa, this is too much, too much text. So they want, they're used to using images.